Oh, y'all get ready to see this shirt in about four or five videos, but y'all gonna be okay. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey, I can't believe I'm saying this, but it is the week before Christmas and I have all of my Black Friday purchases in my possession. Can you believe it? Yes, it is time for my Black Friday haul, but before we get into today's video, please make sure that you are subscribed and be sure to hit that notification bell so you are notified every single time I upload a video. And if you enjoy the video, I'd greatly appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. And if you give me a thumbs down, nobody really cares because they can't see it anymore. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'm probably going to have to break this up into a couple of videos. Of course, I have some hair care stuff. I have some skincare stuff. And y'all already know that because of who I am as a person, I picked up some fragrance as well. But in this video, I'm just going to focus on the hair products that I picked up. If you have not been keeping up with me, I have done a humongous declutter. That previous stash video that you all saw, pretty much gone. If I had to guess, I would say I got rid of about 80 to 85% of my product stash because I'm tired. And honestly, that level of product junkieism just isn't who I am anymore. But let's be clear, during Black Friday and Cyber Monday, I still bought some shit. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So first I picked up the Olaplex Hair Perfector Number no. 3 treatment. I actually picked this up when I was re-upping on my hair color. Of course, in my wishlist video, I did say that I was going to invest in the big daddy of the Olaplex Number no. 3 treatment. But since then, I've actually learned that the number two treatment is a much more concentrated version of this. So as opposed to purchasing this throughout the year, I'm actually just going to wind up investing in the number two treatment because like I said, it's a more concentrated formula. It also comes in a salon size and in the long run, it's just a better investment. The number three treatment works really well in my hair, but I got this for the meantime and between time until I'm ready to invest into the salon size of the number two treatment. I also finally got my hands on the Botanica Beauty Mender Protein Treatment. The girls have been going off about this and shout out to Sheree for grabbing this for me from a hair event that she went to can't wait to try this. I also picked up this Redken All Soft Mega Shampoo, which I also mentioned in my Black Friday wish list, as well as the matching conditioner. I am including these in my Black Friday haul because I did pick them up during Black Friday, Cyber Monday, but I've actually already tried these. I will not be going into detail about my thoughts about these products right now, but just know that I'll probably include them in a wash day routine in the future. I also got my hands on some products from Trey Lux for Black Friday and I ordered the Untie the Knot, which is their nourishing leave-in conditioner. I also ordered their Renew and Restore shampoo, I think that is called. And unfortunately, there was some type of mix-up because they sent me two Tie the Knots, one with the pump already up, so probably lost some product in transit. And they also sent me their Reflux Curl Styling Serum, which I've heard great things about, but this wasn't, this wasn't what I ordered. So I did shoot them an email when I realized this, and I'm waiting to hear back. But that is what I got from Trey Lux. Next, I want to make a disclaimer. I did not purchase these products. These products were actually sent to me from Nature's Little Secret. The owner of Nature's Little Secret actually saw my wishlist video and was gracious enough to send me a PR package. So I finally got my hands on the Nature's Little Secret Finger Greek Detangling Pre-Poo. I also got the Cucumber Nourishing Shampoo. She also sent me the Lemon and Rosemary Clarifying Shampoo. She also sent me the Mixed Fruit Nutrient Rich Deep Conditioner. She also sent me the Coconut Milk Strengthening Deep Conditioner. She sent me the Banana Leave-In Conditioner. And last but not least, she sent me the Herbal Hair and Scalp Oil. So if you haven't been paying attention to the description box, you wouldn't know this, but I am now a Nature's Little Secret affiliate. Of course, I plan to try out these products in future videos. Thank you so much again to Sharnay for sending this stuff to me, and I cannot wait to try it. Okay, so back to stuff I actually spent my money on. This is the Henna Souk Cleansing Conditioning Co-Wash infused with Shikai Kai and Peppermint. I have heard fantastic things about this from Sharae, and I just... You know what I'm saying? If peppermint, tea tree, eucalyptus, rosemary, or anything of that ilk is included, I'm probably going to buy it because respectfully, I deserve a scalp tingle. Also from Henna Souk, I picked up their Coco Veda hair mask, which is another product that Sheree has mentioned on her channel. She absolutely loved this and told me that I needed to try it. In my opinion, Henna Souk is another super affordable Ayurvedic hair brand. And because Henna Souk is so affordable, I actually purchased these before Black Friday and I just use Sheree's coupon code, which I'll also 
also leave link down below in the description box. Those of you who follow Sheree already know that she's very, very picky. So for her to rave about something, I can't wait to try them. I already know they're going to be bomb. Speaking of my good sis Sheree, shout out to her for grabbing these products for me at a natural hair event in her area. This is the Coral Clay and Methy Mango Clay Wash from Chocolate Kinks and Curls. I've heard pretty mixed reviews about this particular clay wash from Chocolate Kings and Curls. So, of course, I'll report back about that in an empties. I also had Sheree grab the Red Clay and Hibiscus Clay Wash, which is definitely my most favorite clay wash that I've tried from Chocolate Kings and Curls thus far. And then during Chocolate Kings and Curls Clay Tober Sale, I also picked up the Red Clay and Hibiscus Clay Wash again. And lastly, from Chocolate Kings and Curls, I also picked up their new Purple Clay and Taro Yam Clay Wash, which I can't wait to try as well. And respectfully, I'll let you all know how I feel about those in an upcoming empties video. This next brand actually wasn't even on my radar for Black Friday. Friday, but they wound up dropping a new collection and I was interested in a couple of the products so I picked up the new Camille Rose black castor oil and Shebe invigorating scalp treatment shampoo and I also picked up the deep conditioner from the same line if you all would like to know my thoughts about this make sure you let Camille Rose know and last but not least I'm sure you all that are regulars here already know what brand I'm about to mention and that is Soultanicals and while we're on the topic of Soultanicals I have to commend them because the shipping process this time for me was not abysmal I did not have to wait 50 11 years for my products I only had to wait about two and a half weeks so that that I will give Soltanicals kudos for. But Soltanicals, as well as Camille Rose, something has to be done about the website because ordering was very, very uncouth. Anyway, this first product I also had Sheree grab for me at a natural hair event. This is the Soltanicals Kaolin Nourishing Locks Flourishing Detox. I won't do a close up of this, I'll just include a picture just because the tape has kind of torn all of the labels off. Sheree actually sent me two of these. I literally just saved this unopened one to share with you all in this haul. And at this point, she picked this up for me months ago, so I have been using it offline. And this video isn't necessarily the form to go in detail about this, but of course I'll spill all the tea about this detox in a future video. I genuinely cannot believe that I'm about to say this, but all that I picked up from Soltanicals during Black Friday was their new Shebe Retha Butter Shampoo. I got two of them and it was a struggle, but I only got these. This is it. Yes. That new butter shampoo is literally all that I picked up from Soltanicals on Black Friday. That is how I know that I'm changing and my priorities are shifting and I just cannot be the product junkie that I once was. So those are all of the hair products that I picked up just before or during Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Make sure you drop down in the comments and let me know what you picked up as well as your thoughts and let me know which products you want me to review first. On your way to watching another video of mine, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Please, please be safe and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, those of you who watched the video in its entirety, be sure to let me know if you want an updated stash video because things have changed.